You can be whatever you believe. Strive and you shall achieve. This is JFK's way. Thank you guys for tuning in. You know what this is, man. This is JFK's way. First and foremost, shouts out to you guys. Thank you guys on YouTube. Thank you, world. Thank you, thank you to the people that's viewing this right now. If you guys know me, uh, you know I'm a collector, man. First and foremost, I'll show you guys some really cool, great, amazing artwork as far as comic books go. And I'll show you guys some really, really cool caps, some rare crowns, some fitted hats that you do not see every day from showing you guys stuff in and out of my collection. Now today, as of recent news, it's kind of not so recent, but if you're not in the mix, if you're not in the loop, I'm going to break it down for you guys. There's been a logo, which is actually not a Major League Baseball logo, but a Minor League Baseball logo, which has been going absolutely crazy over the last few years. Uh, about 10 years ago, maybe a little over 10 years, I remember the hat just sitting. But first and foremost, I'm going to show you guys one right here. This hat has been selling for hundreds and hundreds of dollars. I mean, three, four hundred, sometimes five. This right here is one of the bison hats which of course is a new york minor league baseball team now i personally don't wear new york hats whatsoever this does not say new york this is not a this is not a yankees hat it's actually not even a new york city hat this is buffalo bisons which is buffalo being upstate new york now this team right here oh my god man the, the, their, this logo is just it's been used very very limited amount of times uh, as of right now i can count eight uh, collectively just again over the last decade so decade being 10 years now this one right here was actually one that was actually thrown up on the site uh, this is forest green hopefully you guys can see that uh, ironically enough this is actually blended you actually can't see you know hardly can see the new era logo there's no side patch on this white interior uh, red under visor which is the UV but this right here uh, is definitely one of my favorites as far as minor leagues go but as of lately, these hats, when I tell you the price tax has been astronomical, it's been absolutely crazy. So there's eight total uh, that I can count on, uh, like like I said, collectively total. And a uh, store from my main, my fit is actually in New Jersey. Uh, no shade, no hate, but they are one of the worst places to pick up hats from. Um, if you're not in the mix, if you don't know somebody over there, or you're not... You kind of not in the know what things going on. You're highly possible to strike out and never ever get your hands on one of these hats. Now, there's a lot of guys in certain groups, uh, you know, that are actually resellers, guys that'll get hats. You know, they'll sell them, you know, for double, maybe triple the money, whatever, whatever. Some guys have been buying these hats, selling them for quadruple the amount of money. It's absolutely crazy. Uh, some of these price tags, like I said, are in the hundreds of dollars. I've seen some sell for close to 500. I've seen some sell for over 500. Uh, it's, it's it's ridiculous, right? But I'm just going to show you guys a few that I actually have in my collection. There is eight total that I can think of. Uh, here is actually one of the eight right here. This is the first one. This is the forest green one. Now I'm going to get into this unboxing. As you guys can see, hopefully you can see what this says. We care about caps. Clearly some tape out on this one. So I'm going to bust this one open, show you guys the next one. And uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, this one actually just came out. This was what they call a quick strike or a shock drop, which, you know, everybody's shocked that it dropped. So if you wasn't around and again, you wasn't in the mix, you kind of missed out, you know, so they actually did not post this actually on the store's page. They posted it in their story that it was going on sale. So if you didn't actually follow them and you were, if you were at work that day, or if you were, you were busy doing whatever that day, you likely missed out. And this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is the red one. Now this is completely red. This is also a blended in new era, which I absolutely hate. There is also no side patch, white interior, but this has a classic green on field UV and an entirely red version. Now, the crazy thing about these two actually together, yes, the logo is the same. Yes, the logo is identical. Yes, it's actually from the same place. Uh, there is actually a blended version. The original version for this that I remember seeing uh, like I said, maybe 10 going on possibly close to 12 years ago now. Uh, it's actually green and red. So yes, it's forest green and it's red. Hopefully you guys can see these together, how they look. Now, I only own three so far of the eight, but uh, the store that I was just mentioning to you guys uh, called My Fitteds, they were the first that, that I know in the history of me wearing hats. And again, I've been casually wearing hats for over 15 years, easy. Anybody that knows me can track me back to high school days to just wearing hats casually was just, it's a thing we did, you know what I mean? It wasn't something like, oh my God, you know, $200 hats, or it wasn't anything like that. And now retail price, of course, hasn't got the $200, but 
Certain places 160 for hats, certain places 165, certain places 155. So the price tags have went up. But like I said, the price tags that people are reselling them for, that's what's blowing my mind. People are spending rent money on a hat. Now, the part, the bad part is people are actually paying these amounts. So when they're paying these amounts, it kind of worsens the game. And it's like, damn, you know what I mean? Like it hits you in the heart. Like this is really going on right here. Again, if you're not in the mix, if you're not around, this is not your levels of interest. Of course, you wouldn't know. Same thing with certain comic books. You know, certain comic books will come out there five, ten dollars That same day, they're selling for close to 30 If you're not collecting books, if you're not in the mix of that, you wouldn't know that. But uh, now this right here, this is my last one uh, that I personally own. It was actually the first one that I owned. And I did, this is from my fittings, but I did not get it from my fittings. I actually got it in a guy uh, from a group. He actually reached out to me like, hey, I seen that you were looking for this. And uh, ironically enough, I'm actually not in that group no more. I was actually just kicked out of a Facebook group, some shit called 5950 Hat Society, for whatever reason. Clearly, I b bothered somebody by saying I don't chase around alphabet logos. So I guess that hurt somebody's butthole. Somebody's heart was hurt. So, you know, I reached out to a couple of the admins. Nobody's gotten back to me. So life goes on. I was in the hats before I was in the Facebook and before I had a Facebook before they even had the group so this right here is how i keep this one as you guys can see there is nothing else in here with this one you guys can kind of see it already in there this is what they call the lucky charms edition of the uh buffalo bisons now like i said there's eight total i only have three uh there was a black one that also released as well from the same company so this company alone has released three um my fittings has released four and then the other one so there's these two, there's this, there's a whole bunch of Lucky Charms ones, believe it or not, but this is just the first one that they did. As you guys can see, it's like a metallic, kind of goldish on there. There is a highlighted indention of the New Era sign. This is actually a peach, like a, a pinkish kind of shade. The UV is also like a peach, kind of peaches kind of shade. Also, ironically enough, white interior, there's a buffalo on the back of this inside of a baseball. And there's also an all-star game side patch with the buffalo coming out of it with a five-star. So this one right here, of course, you guys can naturally already see the differences uh, all over the place. Again, this one has a side patch. The back of this does not have a minor league baseball logo. It has a buffalo inside the baseball. These two are pretty much just plain James, just buffalo bison hats. So ironically enough, I did not pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars for this. Uh, I paid somewhere actually close to like 80 for all of them, 90, I believe, excuse me, for all of them, like collectively. So you look at my three, I guess it's not too bad when somebody's paying, you know, two, three hundred just for one. So and these ones are probably actually the closest just in just because they're both red. But as you guys see, there is a difference. You can see the Lucky Charm Edition. You can see the non-Lucky Charm Edition. So what do you think, man? You think it's worth the hype? I grew up off a of Street Fighter playing Street Fighter games, so in Bison, I feel like it's only right. It's only right. So what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. Do you guys like these? Do you think it's just hype? Do you like the logo? Do you think the hats are fresh? Is it something you would like? Something you would rock? Something you would pay for? Are you okay with the resale prices? Let me know what you guys think in the comments, man. But peace and love. Thank you guys for your time. Thank you for taking a journey. Just a small little step inside my clothes and to see what I collect. And I will catch you guys on the next one.